What's up everyone, I'm Micah. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In this video, I kind of just want to give you all some different outfit ideas regarding streetwear. I know that's not really something or like a topic that I focus on that much, but I just kind of wanted to just give some outfit ideas, I guess, from Pinterest and you know, <clears throat> all that good stuff that I look at, just to kind of give you all some different outfit ideas, I guess, regarding streetwear. You know, just some regular streetwear outfit ideas. So let's go ahead and get into it. So since I said that these outfits were going to be pretty much based or revolving around streetwear, these are obviously not going to be the ones that are just kind of my usual go-to during the summertime, which is like the the button downs with the Birkenstocks and well, you may see some Birkenstocks, but the button downs and the, the chinos, you know, all those different things that just kind of, <clears throat> I guess is a, I don't even know what to say. like. A, a main thing I wear during the summertime, well year round really, but a main thing I wear during the summertime, I just kind of figured I'd do streetwear since that's something or a style that I also dress in and I'm not even sure if streetwear is the adequate word or like the correct word to use, but you'll see what I'm referring to obviously from the thumbnail and from the different outfits that you're going to see throughout the video. Anyway, jumping right on into the first outfit here, now I'm, I'm not sure if this is a set or not or it could just be like, yeah it's probably a set actually now that I think about it. The per the the colors is too perfectly matched. Anyway, uh, here this guy has on just a short sleeve. I was about to say button up, but it's actually a zip up. So I don't know if you want to call it like a shirt. Well, it's not really even a shirt jacket because it's not long sleeve. It's like a short sleeve zip up collared shirt. Not even sure what you would call it. Under that, he has on a tank top and that tank top is not tucked into these pants. I was about to say it was, but it's actually not. Uh, he's just wearing some cargo pants and this whole set is kind of like a it's not military green. I don't even think it's olive green. I don't know if you want to call it like a... It's some type of green color. Anyway, uh, he's wearing the cargo pants and he paired that with these Timbaland boots. And just, you see from the whole vibe of what I'm referring to with streetwear, just to kind of get an idea of what I'm going to be showing. And in regards to the accessories here, you have the stack necklaces that I love seeing. I see a ring, the hat, and I guess if you want to count the glasses, I'm not sure if those are like shades or actual glasses, but... Still just a really nice outfit here. Now here in the second outfit, I guess it's kind of similar. Well, not really, but kind of with the, the whole shirt situation. And here this guy has on this, uh, I guess you call it like a, just a regular short sleeve button up shirt or button down. I feel like when it's short sleeve, people say button up and when it's long sleeve, they say button down. Not really sure why, but anyway, this short sleeve button up shirt. Uh, under that he has on this uh, white t-shirt, you know, just a regular plain solid white tee. And with the shorts, these are, um, they're denim shorts, obviously, but I'm, I guess they have just the stripe design in it, as you can see, you know, just the regular stripes in the shorts. Well, not regular, but the stripes in the shorts. And uh, in regards to the shoes, I see the uh, very common or trendy combination here, you know, with the, the pair with the loafers and the socks. And even with the socks, actually, I forgot to mention with the shorts. And I feel like I guess it's something that I always should mention, just the length. I feel like it's best if it stops around the knee area, you know, like not too long to look crazy and not too short to kind of give a retro vibe. And uh, like I also mentioned with the socks, don't push them all the way down to your ankles. Don't pull them all the way up to your knees. It's kind of best if they have some what of a scrunch or a ruffle to them. And even in regards to accessories, I see a watch and a ring. And I guess the hat, if you want to count that, but just a really nice outfit, very streetwear i guess for lack of a better word and it's, it's perfect for this time of year now this outfit here is like really streetwear i guess I, I feel like that's just stupid saying that but anyway this outfit here just kind of works well with the the theme of the video i guess would be better to say and here this guy has on just a regular white tank top as you can see it's tucked into these I want to say these are like pleated shorts actually so i guess that kind of does give the same vibe as the other style that i was referring to but when you wear it with different things and how you pair it that just kind of determines the vibe and the the look that you're going for and here this one is obviously just a lot more casual uh, he wore those navy blue pleated uh dress shorts with the the loafer sock combination as you see here they're kind of just very short socks so you don't have to worry about scrunching them up or you know anything like that and even in regards to accessories you can count the tote bag that he's holding i guess the bracelet i see a ring or two and the necklace and the hats, you know, just all those different things just really help just make the outfit look a lot better in my opinion. That's why I try to wear them in moderation, you know, don't wear everything you have in your accessory drawer or whatever and make it look stupid. But, you know, just in moderation, it just helps it look a lot better. Now here in this fourth outfit, you know, if I see an outfit with Sambas, I feel like it's just kind of a given and it's just 
required of me to show it in the video. So here this guy has on this white graphic tee, he paired it with these denim shorts, and he's wearing these sambas. You know, just a very simple outfit, very simplistic, I guess you could say, for lack of a better word. But uh, as you see with the sock situation, I can't really tell if they're scrunched up. Actually, I think I do see somewhat of a scrunch in the socks. They're not pulled all the way up and not pushed all the way down. So, you know, that's always a plus. But even in regards to accessories, I think the bracelet on his wrist is the only accessory that I'm seeing. So, you know, if I would have seen some necklaces or whatever else, I would have just, it just always makes it look better. I know some people like the bare or the naked look when it comes to accessories. But with me, I think jewelry just always just, it doesn't hurt. It always just adds something in my opinion. And now here in this last outfit, you know, I had, well, I didn't have to show this one, but this is another one that just kind of caught my attention. That's why I felt like I had to show it just because the pants caught my attention. This animal print is just a really nice, and it's something kind of different that I don't see that many guys doing. Obviously animal print is popular in, you know, women's fashion, but I don't really see that many guys wearing different animal prints and whatnot. And that's why these pants just kind of really just caught my attention. So, you know, they're just kind of a wide leg pan. I'm not really sure like of the material. I feel like it's probably similar to the Dickies and Carhartt work pants, just kind of animal print. <laughs> so anyway, uh, he paired that with this plain white tee and these, I want to say these are probably like loafers or some Oxford style shoe or something. I can't really tell. And even with the accessories, I see the rings, I see the hat, and I guess the sunglasses or glasses. I can't tell if those are like shades or like an actual pair of glasses. <laughs> but anyway, just a super nice outfit and I want to show it because of the pants that just really caught my attention. You don't really see that as often like I was saying. And they actually, it just pairs really well. So obviously everything else is just very simple and just minimalist so the pants could just be the main focal point and just draw all the attention. Like I said, I just kind of wanted to divest, I guess, from what I usually do and just show another type of style or clothing, however you want to word that. I just want to do another theme, I guess, from the usual summer, coastal, tropical vibe that I go for in a lot of my summer videos and summer outfits. I figured I'd just do streetwear and just kind of focus on that and give that a spotlight of its own or in a video of its own. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like it. If you did enjoy it, subscribe to my channel because I post on here twice a week. And follow me over on Instagram as well at Micah Aikens just so you can keep up with me, see what I'm doing. And I will see you all in the next video.